Twiddlings, it's Katie here and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a demo slash review and I want to go ahead and disclaimer that this was sent to me free for review. I'm not being paid or sponsored or anything like that to make this video. I basically got this to make this video uh, and everything I say is my own opinion. It's not, you know, being influenced by anyone or anything. So, you know, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. So, what we have got here is the Copic Gossenfide pin. And I am super duper 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 excited to try this out. It's pretty new. I think it came out in March and I am super excited. So here is what the packaging looks like. It is just some plastic packaging. The pin is in here upside down. It did not come to me like that. I was actually playing with it and I put it back in the packaging. Um, but it was right side up. So uh, here is the packaging and it has a lot of what I assume to be Japanese writing on it. And there is some um, English down here. It says it is water-based pigment ink, Copic proof, genuine nylon brush, brush diameter is 3.1 millimeters and length is 9 millimeters. It is made in Japan. And, and then here it says use only for writing and drawing, avoid high temperature above 40 degrees Celsius or 104 Fahrenheit, keep out of children's reach, keep brush side up when carrying, ink may leak if shook or dropped. So yeah, don't do that. And then it has a bunch of other languages on the back here. Uh, so let's just get this out. So here is the Copic Gossen Fude pin. Um, it's really pretty. I think this pin's gorgeous. Um, so I don't know, not sure if you'll be able to see, but there are little speckles in the pin. Then you can see the Copic logo as well as some Japanese writing. The brand name too is over here. Then it just back here says Copic Gossen Fude nylon brush made in Japan and here is what it looks like essentially and then let's take the cap off and here is the brush pin and of course I am going to be testing this out further but I just kind of wanted to show you the whole product and it doesn't have a smell at least as far as I can tell which you know is a good thing um, I think it's really nice though and cool thing about this is the fact that it's like a brush. It's, it's not like a felt tip or anything. It is an actual brush, so it does have different bristles. And I will show you that a little bit later. Um, but I'm just really excited. This feels really nice and lightweight. It's a shiny material. Um, the only thing that's kind of mad for me is it gets fingerprints all over it really easily. Um, but you know, that's whatever. It really doesn't make or break whether I would get it or not. Uh, I apologize if you can hear rain. It's raining outside as I'm filming this. Um, so without further ado, I suppose I could get some paper out. Alrighty, I am back with some paper and my camera is having a hard time focusing because it's just white. So here is the Copic Gossin Fude pin. Um, let's see. Let me see if I can figure something out for size comparison. Here is a jelly roll pin in comparison. So they're about the same size uh, if that gives you any idea. So um, first of all, let's look at this tip again. It's super nice. Every time I look at it, I'm just like, oh, it looks so good. And of course, I did play with this a bit. Um, I'm not very good at brush pens, but I feel like I will learn eventually. So with these kinds of brush pens, you can make very thin or very thick lines. And I love that. Look, look at that. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Um, you can also do hand lettering, but I'm not good at that. Um, let's try to write something. There's a G! <laughs> For Gossip Fude! Um, anyway, I'm not good at hand lettering at all, but I absolutely love the line thicknesses that you can get, and these are very black, like, it's a very, very black line, I don't know how to explain that. Um, and if you're an artist or you use art materials, there is a difference between black and grayish black and super black and there are different tones of black that's what I'm trying to say um and this is pretty black uh, I do want to compare it to a couple of different things and then this is my Fudego Kochi pen um of course it's not a brush pen the same I just wanted to test the um the color and I really think they're pretty even as far as blackness goes. Um, I really love the Gossin Fude pen. Oh my goodness. It's very nice to handle and 
I've never used a brush pen quite like this unless you count a water brush. Uh, and I feel like it's extremely user friendly, which is nice. I also have a Pigma brush pen I'm going to test color of as well. I feel like the Pigma brush pen is a little darker. You're probably not going to be able to pick up any of that on the camera. Um, but in real life, this one is a little bit darker than this, but it's no big deal. Black is black to me. Um, the only thing I really care about is functionality. So this says that it is Copic proof and it is water-based pigment, so I am going to test to see how waterproof it is and obviously to see how Copic proof it is. Now, I would not be surprised if it's Copic proof only because it's made by the Copic company and that would make no sense if it wasn't Copic proof. Alrighty, so I am going to be testing with this Copic. I have RV06 and I let this dry overnight actually, so I wanted to make sure it was completely dry to make sure it was Copic proof, so I guess this is the moment of truth. And of course, unsurprisingly, it is Copic proof. I also want to test and see if it is waterproof, so I have water on a brush here, and I'm just going to move stuff around. And it seems like it's water resistant, but if you go over it a lot, it does peel up the ink just a little bit. So, if you're watercoloring with this, cool, but just don't like scrub at it or anything. So, um, that kind of concludes my initial test for this. Um, I did not erase over it to see if it would fade. I guess I can do that now. It does fade with erasing. Just a little bit. It's not a lot. Um, just, I suppose you might want to use a light box over this, or just don't erase super hard, or even use a kneaded eraser, that'd probably be the best option. Um, so anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into a little black and white illustration where I will talk further about, you know, what I think of this product as well as the writing and stuff like that. So let's go over to the illustration and I hope to see you over there. So here I am sketching uh, the little picture that I'm going to be doing for you guys uh, out. It's a little bit of a bonus, so yay for sketches! Um, so I want to go ahead and say that uh, I really, really, really love this brush pen. It is the first brush pen I've used that has actual bristles, like I've never used the Pentel Pocket Brush Pen or anything similar to that. So this was my first experience and I have to say it was a really, really good experience. I want to talk to you guys about, you know, what I liked about it. So I really like the fact that it kept its shape really well even after I did the inking lines on this picture. Um, and I did a lot of coloring in as well. Um, it kept its shape really well, like I can still use it and get really nice line widths, which is super nice. Um, you get a nice variation of line width whenever you see me lining this, you will be able to see that. And it feels nice in the hand, um, it's really comfortable to hold, I actually really enjoy holding it and it's lightweight so you don't have to worry about a really wonky pin. Something I'm not a big fan of is the fact that it is not refillable, um, so once you buy it and you use it all up, you will have to buy another one if you want to get another one that's not refillable, which is, you know, I that it wasn't my favorite thing. Um, it's about $8 on their website, I think it's $10 on Amazon, um, but I will of course link you to both uh, down in the description below if you want to purchase that. Um, I have not had stray bristles, but I know that some people have had stray bristles. Um, I've used mine, I use mine a lot in this picture, um, but I've used it since then, and um, I haven't had that problem, but you may have that, so just to let you know, um, it has a nice spring back. Uh, it's not like, I don't know how to explain it, it's just nice and springy, the bristles are. And it is waterproof on most surfaces. The demo I showed you earlier, uh, the reason it was not waterproof, it was just the paper I was using. It, I tested it on other kinds of papers and it was waterproof. Um, so yeah, um, I have to say all in all I really love it. It's super black and very nice to use and I had a lot of fun using this. I want to say thank you so much to the Copic company for letting me try this out. Uh, and I want to go ahead and give a rating. I rate it 9 out of 10 just because of the fact that it's not refillable, that's the only reason it's not a 10. Um, but other than that, I really love this pen. Um, so, 
Anyway guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Also, don't forget to become a part of our cute little squid pod if you haven't already to keep updated on when I upload a new video. And if you want to keep updated on various things like works in progress and stuff like that, check out my Twitter and my Instagram. My links are down in the description below. And until next time guys, toodaloo!